Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. I'm Don Reynolds. And I'm Dean Smith. And uh, we appreciate you joining us here on Westerns on the Web. Um, for hundreds of Western movies and TV shows, you can come by and see us on westernsontheweb.com. You can also see us on Westerns on the Web on YouTube. And make sure you visit our Westerns on the Web Facebook page and like it. And we're here today to talk about Dean Smith's new book. Now, how long has your book been out? It's pretty. It's been out. It's been out about three months. About okay. Ninety days. Just. It's just now getting out there where people know it's out. <laughs> it's getting some momentum to it, yes, though, it isn't is. it? Uh -huh. All right. Well, uh, I know we came to a book signing, and and there was lots of folks there. That's right. And uh, we we, uh, I've enjoyed my copy. This is my copy. <laughs> but you can get one of Dean's books. It's a uh, Cowboy Stuntman. And you can get it on Amazon.com, right? That's right. Uh -huh. Okay, it's available there. And uh, tell me a little bit about the book. Well, it's my life story. It started out uh, from the very beginning until I finished my movie career, which uh, I was 60 when I came home. I'm 82 now. And uh, Debbie, my wife, and son wanted me to do this book, and I had been kind of holding back, and she finally put a twitch on me and got got it started and <laughs> um, okay we we F literally li literally <laughs> you know, I'm Western all the way <laughs> but um, no uh, it was something that I am very proud of I like the way they did it I've had good reviews from it uh, people have liked it because I think it's real and it's not phony and I didn't want it to sound effective because I spent I spent 45 years of my life out there in Hollywood, and uh, I didn't want to pattern myself after too many people, but I did like Roy and Gene and Duke Wayne and uh, a few of those old boys, that uh, Dale Robertson, and uh, a lot of the gals like Maureen O'Hara and all of them that I work with. And uh, I just, I had a really fine career, but before that, I had a real good sports career, and uh, so. As a boy growing up here in West Texas, I always went to the movies on Saturday, and the reason why I could afford, I had chickens, and I'd sell those eggs, and I'd take those eggs and make money. Mama, my grandmother, who raised me, took me to the movies. I'd either go to Graham or Brackenridge. Maybe once in a while we'd go to Fort Worth or Abilene. I had that in me, and of course, everybody thought when I left the University of Texas that I should go. and be a great track and football coach somewhere, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be out there with my cowboy heroes, and I did that, and uh, just happened to know people like Bob Mathias, who was on the 48 and 52 Olympic team with me. They got me, uh, he got me started in the movies because he took me over, and he was under contract to the Wayne, John Wayne family, and um, I started out the right way and started working in the John Wayne movies. And um, now, now, you mentioned uh, you've mentioned about getting in the business. How did that happen? Of course, I had went to the Olympics in '52 when I was 20 years old, and I stayed in Austin until 19, October of 1955. And uh, then I had to go in the army for 21 months to serve my country for being able to go to school. And so what happened is um, I left school in October of 1955 and went to Los Angeles. Got lucky, I went to Fort Ord, and then I was down at Fort MacArthur at uh, San Pedro. And um, what happened was that uh, on the weekends I would get to go up to Hollywood and see a lot of things and uh, meet a lot of people and everything. So. Uh, when I got, actually, when the Rams traded me to Pittsburgh Steelers, I knew that I had to make my move to try to get in the movies. So I had called Bob Mathias, who I was on the 52 Olympic team. He was the 48 and 52 Olympic decathlon champion. And Bob just happened to be under contract to John Wayne, Bad Jack Productions. And he was such a swell guy, Bob was, and uh, he took me down to Bad Jack Productions to see Wayne and uh, Tom Kane, who was worked for Wayne, read all the books. Bob Morrison, John Wayne's brother, Michael Wayne, and Patrick, and all of them. So, I they took me over there, and I'm in there talking to him. And I said, "Now, 
Y'all were fixing to do a movie down in Texas, and I sure want to go down there and work on that movie, The Alamo, and uh, it's about Texas history. And uh, about that time, John Wayne walked in the office there. And of course, looking up at him, he's about six foot, almost ten foot tall. <laughs> but, but anyway, a lot of a lot of us folks still look at him that way. Well, I still do. But anyway. Uh, they introduced me to him and uh, said that uh, that I wanted to go to on the movie The Alamo, and uh, he looked at me and he said, uh, "Well, are you? I, they tell me you're pretty handy." And I said, "Well, there's three things I can do: I can ride, run, and jump." And he said, "Well, uh, I think we're going to take you down to Texas. We'll we'll try you out." So he took me down there. Um, I did a lot of really good stunts. There's some wonderful pictures in the book of, of some of that that's stuff. That's right, and the thing is, one thing about my book, it's there to look at, and it's for real. It's the real deal, and it's not anything that's fabricated. It's what I did is what I did, you know.